this is how to use DPS 900 to use an FRD 900 depth sensor, or if you want to use the calculated factor method to do a custom calibration on any other depth sensor type. So first I'll come into the home icon, go to hardware setup, go to my connections and make sure that my CAN sensors are disconnected. In order to make any changes on this sensor setup page, I'll need the CAN sensors disconnected. So I'll come here, say yes, I want to enable a depth sensor, choose my depth sensor type as an FRD 900 slash calculated factor. And then there's a new UI that pops up here for calculated factor. Okay, so I hit accept. I have to go to connections. And now I have to connect my depth sensor before I can do this calibration. So now it's connected. I hit accept. I come back here to sensor setup. I click on this box. And I have a depth sensor here at my desk. So I'm just going to do one spin of it around and then put in a value for that known distance that I just moved it. We'll say that was 12 feet. I'll hit accept. And now I've got a new calibration based off of that um, calibration process that I just did. So I'll hit accept and that is saved. You'll want to make sure when doing that calibration that you move that tool as far as possible to give you the most accurate calibration that you can get.